I'm Kristen Hirsch, and this is my son, Wyatt. I think being a mother makes me a better musician, and being a musician makes me a better mother. They're funny people to hang out with. They keep you very physical. <laughs> my 12-year-old is named Dylan. My 7-year-old is Ryder. And this is Wyatt. He's one. It's like a family vacation that never ends because you never get to Disney World or the Grand Canyon. <laughs> you just drive every day and at the end of the day um, there's a show and that's what I save all my energy for and then I should be spent after the show like an athlete I should use everything up and then just want to go home and, and die but you can't when you have kids they, so they keep you from doing any drug that would make you either wake up or fall asleep because uh, they're there keeping you up <laughs> I bring them when it's not cruel. You know, sometimes it's very difficult. Um, and it would be mean to bring them and say, there's no food today, and no sleep either. And then we leave them with cozy grandma. <laughs> It's what feeds them, actually. My husband is one of my managers and my tour manager, and so... Yeah. And I have no other skills. I've been in this band since I was five... Well, wasn't throwing music since I was 14. And uh, I went to college for a while, but my, my heart was in music. I couldn't even be a waitress. <laughs> an acoustic record because I had some acoustic songs that were written on that kind of guitar but I did it as a little side project and um, it actually sold more than any other Throwing Muses record so suddenly I had to learn how to be an acoustic artist I had to make videos by myself and do interviews and photo shoots by myself I didn't really take to the medium <laughs> as much as it seems like I did <laughs> but um, I fell in love with the guitar on that tour and that led to more acoustic songs. I miss my band very much, though. We didn't end on purpose. We just ran out of money. So I'll have another band soon, and I'll play electric guitar again, which is my first love. By now, I really miss electric guitar. <laughs> I'm running my acoustic through distortion pedals. <laughs> I just miss the noise. <laughs> Eventually I realize what words I'm saying and that they actually make a, a certain sense, but the sense is a song sense, not a brain one. They're song words, they're not my words, they're not me thinking, they're the songs talking, and I think they're smarter than I am. titling records. I think it's really pretentious. <laughs> My husband just said, the name of this record is Strange Angels. And I thought it was kind of a sissy name. I wanted to call it Swim with the Monkeys, which is another lyric. And he said, you should grow up now. <laughs> you don't have a rock band anymore. Kmart won't carry a record. <laughs> They'll think it's a drug reference. Um, but I think he's right. Strange Angels may be children or songs or blessings in disguise, you know like most blessings are. I'm going to the studio in a month um, to make another solo record, but it's not acoustic. It's very different. 
So I have a lot of stuff going on, and most of it is as loud as I can possibly make it, because <laughs> I'm so hungry for noise. With your breath.